Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Andrew Lilge. I started selling cars at Hevelsboro. It's now Griffin. I took to social media to post and do videos, and there's a huge response. I feel comfortable saying that I sold 80% of my cars through Facebook and social media. Ooh. I thought there was something to this. <laughs> So I took the investment, took the time to become social media certified, and this is a way to bridge the gap from business owner to political figures to anything. These, these formulas work anywhere, and they're used worldwide. So that's why I started this business. I'm Andrew Lilge. This is Local Social Pulse. We're a social media marketing agency. This is very broad. So what I do is simple, but it's not easy. So um, you can dive deep, and let's get into the first thing that I hear from every business owner. Andrew, I have no time. There's no time at all to do this. <laughs> Where do you find it? You do have the time. You have the ability to schedule your posts, and this is right from Facebook. You go right under the schedule. And you can do this. Sit down on a Sunday, schedule your week out, Schedule your month out if you're ambitious. And that's how you'll start scheduling. That's the most, that's the first thing you want to do is get consistent. What we do is cultivate, diversify. Can't have the same thing once in a while. But your call to action is your most important part of what you're going to be putting out there. So underneath on your Facebook posts, you have a ton of options. You can create an event, I'm sure. Has everybody played with the create events? Or, okay. So that's important. All these are, are different call to actions that you want to do. We're doing a live video right now. So that's a huge engagement. If you have anything exciting going on that's now, that's live, you want to make sure that you get it out there. There has to be a purpose for every post that you put out there. You don't just want to send out content without knowing what, what's it going out there for. And believe it or not, it's not just getting them in the door. You want to create value. So tell a story. There's holidays every month. There's holidays every month. So go with the holiday. Or if there's events going on, keep it current. What you choose to put out there, do one approach. Don't mix it all. So grab the audience's attention. Unexpected, emotional, and simple. I can't stress simple enough. Unexpected, highlight what's new, unusual. If you have uh, new content or new products, make sure you get it out there and surprise them. Emotional. People buy off of emotion. It's the reason why they go see, you know, sad movies. <laughs> it's uh, giving them a reason to care. Simple is one unifying message. I like to do five words maximum on a post, any post. Tips for writing copy. This is what defines just somebody that can post on social media and an actual writer. So your copy is very, very important. Use verbs. This is an example of somebody that would have, uh, say, a sofa store or a furniture store. Get competitive prices, so it's something they care about, competitive prices, on comfy sofas. These are verbs. So, they think about what they care about, and it's related to comfy sofas. Huh, I should go to Bob's Furniture Store. <laughs> Keep it simple, like I said. Shorten it up. Use synonyms. Residential property, homes, or land. It means the same thing, but it's shortened. People are lazy when it comes to, to reading posts. I mean, I, I am. I, I don't want to read a, a whole article on, on homes or, or land. You want to shorten it up, keep it all right there. You want to use questions to question your market. So, would you trust this woman with your hair? That's just a hairdresser example. That would invoke a ton of comments. People would say, well, She's not using the right brush or something like that. You want to take people's concerns 
or what they fear, and you can get that right off the internet. You see, if they have a, a Yelp account or something like that, people really fear, you know, that hairdresser. They have to read what people have said, what the response is, read the reviews. If you were saying you're at a service place, say uh, oil change or anything like that, mechanic-wise, wouldn't you like an expert? So think about what people fear about doing business and address those fears. Be specific. If you say, come on down for my sale, people have no idea where you're going. Be specific. So this is right to the point. If you can't decipher that, then I guess you'll never get here. So take 26 to exit 72 and ask John about our sale. You know exactly where you're going and you know exactly who to talk to. So who do you think got more got more money right there? <laughs> he only needs 10 more dollars and he can get back home, but this guy, he's still going to be on the, on the, on the street. So I'm, I'm probably going to give him 10 more dollars <laughs> to get home. <laughs> well, he's the clicker. <laughs> Don't overthink your post. It, it is simple. Um, you can get inspiration from other businesses in your niche. Go like them, follow them, message them, find out what worked with their business. So, if you, ha you, know, if you have a, a furniture store or uh, any kind of insurance, go out and like and see what they're doing and do what they're doing. What content is worthy of posting? This is very general. But if you want to get out there and start doing it every day and posting every day, quotes, always great. Inspirational, motivational images, you want to provide value, so a reason why people would like your page. There's got to be a reason. Trigger an emotion. Oop. Oh, I can't go back with the clicker. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. Right. So provide value. You want to trigger an emotion. Like I said, people buy off of emotion and people respond and act on emotion. Safe, funny. So if you're a vet, you want to post cat videos all day long, <laughs> the dog video. But it's content going on every day. So safe, funny is a great one. Consistency is everything. You want to get one post a day. Consistency within Facebook and social media is an algorithm. So if you have content going out every day, you will go up in, in ranking everywhere. It's all connected. Instead of starting from scratch, these are my very favorite ways of engagement and content. So copy-wise, you want to use PAS, and this is all in the handout too, so you don't have to write that one down, unless you want to use the example. PAS, problem, agitate, and solution. So your leaky sink is your problem, and it's also draining your wallet, which is agitating. We'll call, we'll fix this. Call us now. That'd be for a plumber business, obviously. You can use that for anything. A I D A. Attention, interest, desire, and action. Got dirty laundry? Of course I do. God, what do I do with this? We'll clean it for you. Interest. Enjoy free coffee and Wi-Fi while you wait. Oh, well, that's that's an awesome reason to get my laundry cleaned. And there's your action, the link right there at the bottom. And why do we do this? <laughs> why do we need likes and followers? What's the point? Social media is word of mouth. If you haven't figured that out already, that's the easiest way to get the word out about a place that you enjoy. Who? These are your potential customers. So if you share something and then your friend shares something, you hope to get that page liked because I like it, why wouldn't you like it? And that's the point, is to get it out there. So what likes and followers allow you to remarket to your customers, and that's the most important part of getting likes and followers. When I say remarket, I'm talking about retention and email marketing. Oh, this isn't just social media. This, this, is, this is deeper. This is the lifeblood of, of any company, and it's honestly surprising how many people don't have email marketing. I'm not talking about annoying ones that come at you every week. I'm talking about ones that come at you once a month that you actually use. So I actually took advantage of this coupon. This was an email coupon right there, and I got 
five pairs of dress pants because it's it's a really good a really good deal actually um, give your customer a reason for them to give you their information so an incentive or a carrot or so collect your customers information create the email list these three are the greatest email marketing uh, platforms that I've run into constant contact this is the one I use probably the most. It's really, really intuitive. And it's, it's across all platforms. So what that means is it integrates very well. MailChimp is very easy to maneuver. It's a drag and drop type platform. And I have that on the handout too. So anyone can use MailChimp. It's probably the most common one. They use it at, at Space Saver, I believe, that they did. Um, Get response. Get response is a new one that I'm that I'm experimenting with, but you can play with these because they are all free trial. <laughs> so, with the free trial, um, play with them, find out which one you like, and they'll usually give you a deal after you're done with the free trial. Who's played with the Facebook Ad Manager? You play with it. What was your response? I got I gotta ask. What did you end up getting? The Ad from? Manager. Yeah. Um, or what, what was it for? I got a lot of views. It was for. Um, we did a workshop. Okay. So I boosted the post to push it out all over. Gotcha. Got a lot of views, but not a lot of people showed up. So okay. The interested, right? Yeah. Gotcha. What did you say you did one too? Mm-hmm. For listing hosts. Yes. Yeah, we had some good engagement with some of our um, events. Okay. Um, we, we definitely found that when we did that, there was a lot more reach, um, probably doubled or tripled. Okay. Um, yeah. So it was worth the investment. <laughs> Did you say you did one too? Yeah, we've done the same thing for some of our events. And I think it's, um, for us, it's been a good way to get to the geographic area for people to come to our our venue. Um, people who might not normally like our page, so they, they see what we're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, honestly, it's this is your best bet for getting new customers and new clients. Uh, it's basically a sponsored ad that you pay for that comes up in your news feed. So uh, whatever interest that you had, or if you're in the area, you can you can you can be targeted <laughs> so starting with your brand if you've never done a Facebook ad it's Facebook ad manager .com. it's in the handout you want to start with who you are an intro video basically or make some slides you can describe who you are and what you care about and why you're here so get all of your items out there food your goods in front of a nice camera or a smartphone they have the nicest cameras in the world, so. <laughs> Choosing from over 100,000 different targeting options on Facebook. So if you're brand new to Facebook Ad Manager, you want to do either brand or reach. So that'll be your intro video or basically just getting the word out there that, hey, I'm on, I'm on social media now. So um, an, example of, an example of really exclusive marketing, I would put a sale out there for, say, Space Saver employees. So you would target people that work at Space Saver. You get 50% off of my product. So what that does is it creates exclusivity saying, hey, this is only for me. And that will get more engagement that way just because it's, it's more exclusive to them. Now, how do we get more likes and more, more incentive to like the page? This is a giveaway. This is basically, this is kind of the pinnacle of, of how you do things. If you, if you want um, more content, more, more followers, more, more people liking, people love free stuff. <laughs> Giveaways. This is an example of a like, comment, or share. This one's a like, comment, and enter. So all they would need to do, like their page, comment under, and they're registered to win. And there's a couple different ways that you can uh, pick the winner. You can cut them up into an Excel, put it in a hat, pick the, pick the winner that way, or you can do it right through Facebook, they have options. So, And that's just as simple as uh, going into the settings on Facebook. So, This is a great way to get new people. Giveaways. The first rule, and the first rule of marketing actually, is to give away what you would want. So. Not something that's you know just put out there. You get a free appetizer or something. Second rule is make it big. 
I'm not going to give you my information for 5% off with an appetizer or a beer or something like that. Put the value of the actual dollar amount on the post. It's a real number. This is what I would actually pay, but I could win this. So when I say make it big, make it big. Like, like a like a free patio party. If you own a restaurant, you want to put a patio party out there, it's a $500, $300 value. That's huge. I would, I would definitely give you my information for that. And the stipulations, though, on the back, or when you do the ad, you would say, this includes a half barrel of beer. This includes a dinner for six people. So it adds up to that ultimate value. So you want to make it big, do your big giveaway, and don't do this too often. Don't give away the farm. But um, what else did I have? You know what you know what the what they would pay for. So make it exciting. Make it talk about. How tos? You say you did a workshop. This is perfect right here. So if you have any skill or anything that you can put out there that uh, doesn't cost anything to watch, do it. Jones Dairy Farm. If you've ever been on Jones Dairy Farm, all they do is recipes, <laughs> and it works. It is awesome. I, I want to try one of these recipes because they look so delicious. But you can see the engagement that they're getting with just, just recipes. They, they, did, they did a giveaway, I think, two months ago. They did a, some kind of slow cooker. But that's huge. Um, if you have some kind of skill that you can put out there, or even if you don't, if you want to get some ideas or inspiration, type in how to up in the Facebook bar and search it. There's got to be something in, in your niche, you know, how to, what to make or how to do it. Get into the other social platforms, Instagram. If you're not on it, it's the hottest platform right now, so get on it. <laughs> as fast as you can. This is your showcase of highlights. So if you have any brand new products out there, if you have any, uh, anything moved, it's just a great editing platform. You can do tons of different things on Instagram. You, uh, you have filters and everything. So that changes all the consistency and the, basically what it looks like to go, when it goes out. So creating hashtags. This keeps everyone talking about you in one place. So it consolidates all of your information if you have a hashtag. So never not extra. Anyone talking about that will not see this. We got married a month. Was it a month and like four days ago? <laughs> a month and four days ago. <laughs> so uh, we put a Lilgi life on all the tables, and you probably see that at weddings. What that does is it allows people to have all the information in one place. So now you can see all the pictures from my wedding that everybody took all in one place. It's great. Little Caesars does a really good job at this. Twitter. This is the loud site. So you post on here as many times as you like. If you have huge sales, if you have something huge going on, post here all the time. It's a short tweet, uh, or it's a short, it's a short quote or retweeting. So follow any businesses that you have uh, in your niche. So if you have um, ones outside of the state or, or inside of the state, of course do it. And uh, all that is is getting your profile, finding a business, and then just follow them. This is a retweet. So I found that uh, huge ingredient in success and imp is impulse control. You can't always do what feels good in the moment. Halloween candy always feels good. So I retweeted that. So now it pops up with him. It's like a share on Facebook is what it is. So that's what a retweet is. And then retweet the businesses in your uh, relevance. Tweet it often. Get on there as many times as you can. YouTube. This is an example of long form video. You can upload 24 hours of video onto YouTube. And Google also owns YouTube, so you better believe the more content you put on YouTube, the better you scale. Put testimonials out there. If you have a customer that was really happy about service, why wouldn't you put a testimonial in there? So, I had a great time. You can get it professionally edited or just take your smartphone. Commercials, if you do any professional uh, production. Your how-tos, renovations, if you have a desk and you move it over to the other side, be excited about it. Professional production, don't be afraid to get controversial or crazy. People like animation, 
It's, it, it drives action. Before and afters, uh, before, before the, your business happened, after, um, whenever they signed up for whatever, whatever you have to offer. <clears throat> Pinterest. <coughs> Pinterest is your inspiration website. My wife and fiance was on Pinterest every day looking at wedding stuff. <laughs> so this was a huge inspiration one for, for us. Uh, what this is, when you log in, you get your business on there, it gives you the option of business or personal on Pinterest. So you want to create boards that relate to your niche. So if you have a product that uh, is from a third party or something like that, you can take things directly from them and put it on yours because they're, you're promoting theirs already in your, in your store. Pin your products. That's as simple as uh, clicking on, on the product, pinning it, and it, it is there for your audience to see as well. This is a brand new thing you're kind of experimenting with right now. Social influencers. This is actually my dad. <laughs> he goes out to eat probably once a week. And everyone knows it. Because he tags it. Because he tags where he is. And you can actually put out recommendations. Uh, he checked in at, at Lucy's Hideaway eating lunch. <laughs> so, have signs up, maybe in your business, to remind customers to tag them. To tag your business and review it. Because you can do that directly from all social media sites now. If you had a good time, review the experience on social media. Don't be afraid to ask. People love to do that. They're already on their phone. <clears throat> Outsourcing. I don't want to do all this, Andrew. This is this sounds like a lot of time. So, outsourcing with Fiverr is a great one for logo animation. They are they're really cheap too. I mean, they are, but they do great work. Uh, Fiverr is logo animation. If you have editing stuff that you want to do, uh, if you want a want a website set up, or if you want landing pages set up, don't know what landing pages is. That's that's a great one. Um, and they can teach you too. Upwork is uh, freelance. Anything the same as Fiverr, they just charge um, by the project. So if you have one project, they'll charge you by the project. Otherwise, college students. These guys need something for their portfolio. They need to get work. So that's a great one. You can tap into uh, the UW system anywhere. MATC, they're always looking for stuff to do in real, real time, real, real life experience. This is on your handout as well. Uh, here are some automated posting services. Hootsuite. Have you guys heard of Hootsuite? Yeah? Hootsuite's a great one. It just has a watermark up there. so I, I'm not a huge fan, but it's free, uh, free trial. So use it when you can. It's a great multi-platform resource to automate. And then Sprout Social is a free service that helps with developing content. So that's a really good one. You can get out there right away. And then Buffer is one of my favorites. It crosses all social media platforms and it provides different content too. So, here's a couple books that you should get on a list um, if you're really interested in, in this. Uh, Make It Stick is huge. These, they're, these are Harvard professors. And then Organize Tomorrow Today will get you where you need to be as far as posting. And then Contagious, actually, this is his student so that is his student there unbelievable books this one gave me goosebumps right here this is why things go viral and it'll, it'll show you how I'm Andrew Lilge with Local Social Pulse thank you guys so much questions